everyone, it's Krista here for the Tina Conte Foundation and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook ad for your nonprofit organization. If you don't know how to create a Facebook page for your nonprofit organization, I will link a video below and in the cards that we made that shows you how to get that done. So let's get started. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to create an ad. Once, you, once you're signed in to your Facebook page, you'll look to the left, you'll see a button that says promote. Let's go ahead and click that. So to ask you a question, how would you like to grow your business? There's several little options here and we're going to briefly discuss each one of them. The first one is boost a post. So let's go ahead and click on that. When you click on that, you you see several posts that you have made on your nonprofit's Facebook page. Now, I don't know how Facebook determines which ones to show you because these are a bit out of order. This one says December the 5th, November the 4th, October the 15th, but Facebook will determine what to show you. Once you see your posts, next to that, you'll see the platform. This is Facebook and this is Instagram. We have linked our platforms together and I'm gonna do a separate video to show you how to link your platforms together in case you don't know. Next to that, you're going to see the engagement. So for this particular post on Instagram, it was liked 16 times, and this one has one comment. So let's go ahead and boost it. And if you don't know what boost post means, get more people to see and engage with your post. Boost it. So once you click on that, you're going to see this screen here. And let's talk about what the items that we have here on the left. You can choose who you want to target through this post. So if I say I want to target people who like my page, I can click on that and who live in Mississippi and who are 18 to 65 years to 65 years old. You have the option to edit these op edit these choices. So if I click on edit, if I don't want to target people in Mississippi, I can change that. There's a drop down menu and it even takes me I can pick people in Alabama, if I want to add a location, I could do that. Okay, so now you, you're able to see that. Let's talk a little bit about your budget. This is going to be your total budget that you spend on this ad. And if you place your cursor on there, you'll see that. So let's say my total budget, all the money that we have right now to spend on ads is $2. If I have a little bit more, I could say $5. There's a drop down menu here that you can click on. Let's say I have $5, that's my total, that's all the money that we have for this particular ad. And I wanna let this ad run for 14 days, okay? It tells me, once I make those choices, how much I will spend per day for that duration of that ad. So if my total budget is $5 and I want the ad to run for 14 days, I'm only gonna spend 35 cents per day. And then it will also tell you when this ad will end here. Right here you have payment. So if it'll walk you through the steps, you can add a credit card to your ad account. And when you add that credit card, it will be here. Now to the right is a preview. You're able to look at your ad to get an idea of what it's gonna look like before you actually uh, boost it. So for this shows you what your ad will look like in desktop. Most of us use our mobile or cell phones or tablets. So you'll see what your ad will look like there. And since we have Instagram here, you'll see what your ad will look like Instagram. Okay. So that's just briefly how you boost a post. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back. Let's talk about this tab here. Promote your send message button. Now, once you click on that, you're going to see the same options here that you saw in the previous. However, you're able, this is something new. Now, we've all seen the annoying ads in our messenger inbox, which I cannot stand. But if you want to be one of those annoying ads, you can put that in people's messenger inbox here under the more tab. Okay. Well, we're going to go back to mobile news feed here. This is typically what we're used to seeing. They also have something called free stock images. So if you don't have an image on your computer that you want to use, you can use a free stock image. Now, let's say we want to do an ad with this one. Okay, we, we say we want to use this one. It's going to update 
and here it is and as it mentions before it has a watermark but this will not appear on your final ad okay that's just there once you do your ad once you pay and, and boost your ad and will pay and have your ad that won't show up also you'll notice this yellow like caution symbol here this tells you that Facebook is saying that we need to limit these characters okay so that everyone can see it on smaller screen sizes and this is too much right here you know you want to have something that's eye-catching that's not a lot, a lot for people to read so we would have to find some creative way to take care of that and then here's where you're able to put your headline there if you want to change it and so forth here we have the budget again okay and then we have the duration and then the payment okay let's look at promote your page so when you have promote your page you're also able to do it in the right column so you have desktop newsfeed and mobile newsfeed which we've discussed but the right column you've seen those ads in the right column as you're scrolling through Facebook you're able to place an ad there as well okay and this is if you want to change this this is again where the free stock images are and see it tells you here watermarks won't appear in your final ad image so you can pick here and pick one of these lovely free images which is fabulous okay and then you have the same thing to the left your budget your duration okay so we're gonna go back let's talk about this one locally promoting our business locally so what this allows you to do is so this is our address here we say we want to reach people that are maybe 15 miles away so this is my potential potential reach 81,000 people and I could determine what age and if I want to just you know focus on men and women or all and then you can add your audience interest so if your audience you could add nonprofit charity you know whatever you wanted to add and you notice it says get direction so that's changed and again the free stock images and so forth okay so that's if we wanted to promote it and that's what it will look like on Instagram okay and then you hit promote and then you're going to be placing your ad now this one says promote your donate button if you choose to run an ad with a donate button this is what this is going to look like so everything else to the left is the same that we went through except for you will have a donate button um, we have a donate button in our, on our website um, and it takes people to our PayPal okay so you can put one on your post if you so choose to do that and everything else to the left will be the same let's talk about this one getting more visitors to your website so everything is still going to be the same but it tells me I have that little caution arrow um, we have a high proportion of text so it's not gonna it's not gonna work so they're gonna tell you that now if you have an ad you're like this is my ad it's gonna work you can request a manual review but I would suggest you change it okay and then this is your call to action we have learned more in this instance because we want them to go to our website but um, you can hit request time you know you can hit whatever you know you want your call to action to be and those things are the same there so we're going to hit the back button so we've talked about these tabs here briefly and get more leads is if people you want to have people be able to put in their name and their email address and so forth so let's close this out and let's go to the manage promotions tab so let's say we run ads and we have some promotions for the life of me I cannot get uh, some of our newer ads to show but this is an old ad that we ran this was a video if you want to see the videos on our channel it's an old video which we're in the process of redoing because our mission has changed somewhat however let's talk about how this actual video did so let's go ahead and view results so we ran this ad for seven days it only cost us ten dollars our total budget we reached 1,030 people and it had 573 
three second views. This was successful to us because we had a lot of traffic to the page, to our, our website, and, and it was fine. Only for 10 bucks. So it was really, really worth it. It's, these are really, in a, and this was our total budget. But as you can saw, you can go as low as two bucks. Okay. So guys, that's this ends, concludes the video on how to create a uh, Facebook ad for your nonprofit organization. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them below. And remember, we're all in this together, changing the world, one nonprofit at a time. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.